V-Void, come play with us. <laughs> Yay, Starcade! TV's first video arcade game show. And today's show is special. We'd if like I had known this existed when I was a kid, I'd have watched it. You were quite the game show fan. <laughs> I watched every game show. Plus, I had an Atari 2600. Here's Mike McEwen. Well, these are like kids. And here's Marcelo oh, I thought the next guy was going to be named Mike, too. It's <laughs> <laughs> like three mics? No, just two mics. <laughs> two mics is their limit. One of these contestants is not like the others. Thank you, much. Thank you Kevin. Hi, and welcome to an extra special edition of Starcade. Now, this is our very first invitation. Extra game. special. And it's also a day when we're featuring a fabulous. Not like those crappy ones. So it is a very special day, and we're glad you could join us for it. Our players today are four Starcaders who've already won on previous Starcaders. Shows. They're all champions, and they're all going to play. Well, they've been on Starcade before, so they're Starcaders. Okay, to see who's going to win our grand prize, which today is a trip to Hawaii. Well, they they pick a grand prize and they stick with it. So, Star Cater, it's really good to have you guys back. Now, they really, really do. Matched you up at random to see who would be the opponents in today's two matches. The winner of each round will go on to play. Each I, I other would be curious to see what a Star Caterer is, though. First two players are. <laughs> Jeff, our first two players are Marcelo. <laughs> I'm not having that discussion with you. <laughs> Marcelo and Jonah. Mike and Mike, you guys go off stage. We'll be back with you in a little while to see you play the second match. See you later. All right. Jonah and Marcelo. Sure. First two players shake hands. Get ready to play Starcade. Head over to the podiums. And while they head over okay. there, tell us what other thing makes this Starcade so special today. Jeff, as you said before, we have only one game on the show today. Try I don't know how you play this competitively. <laughs> game technology Jeff, i don't know how you do it either watch that jonah and marcelo right now to start things off uh, we're going to show you the playing field of a video game on our name the game board the first one to buzz in and identify it correctly will play first and automatically win a bonus of 250 points added to a score so if you're ready take a look to the right and name this game i sent robert the pick that they're about to show and he has to see if he can guess um, just like the contestants. So, Robert, the picture that you see now that they're about to see, do you know what game that is? Um, I do not, but I want to play this game now. <laughs> okay. All right. We'll hit play and let's see what it is. Time, Marcelo. Took too long to come up with it. And now Marcelo. And Jonah automatically. It's Arabian. Wait. Arabian Jonah didn't have to guess. No, because he automatically wins if the other person messes up. But that shouldn't be that way. No one should get points if no one knows. <laughs> That's not how we're gonna do it on our game show. Nope. So do you know Arabian? I do not. I've never heard of it. It looked kind of it looked fun like a Pac-Man y, you know, Popeye kind of arcade game. Right. And the rest of you are pretty sharp as far as this game goes but for those of you who haven't seen dragon's lair what jonah's going to look for is flashes of light to tell him which direction to put uh, dirk the daring which direction to head him he'll control okay but how do you get points how do you get more points than another person so i don't know and uh, he'll also look for, to see which side of the the uh, of dirk his sword is on because that's the side danger usually comes from you ready to go yeah all right well wish you good luck with dragon's lair you'll have uh, 30 i seconds. wish you luck too bud <laughs> get set is it just like how long can you go until you die or I, I well they've got a point score at the top you can see it yeah so i guess they're just manually giving points and i think they said this no one has played this in the arcade yet uh, he mentioned it was new technology but then he said they're both really all the contestants are good at this game i think they got to play it beforehand oh yeah that's probably that would make sense how is he getting the points? Um, I think they're manually giving points when he doesn't <laughs> die. So they're manually giving points? It's not even part of the game? Does the I, game I don't have remember points? I don't remember a, a point system in Dragon's Lair. This game is 
set up the way it is with random screens, we may see different things. We may see the same thing. I hope so. You hope we see the same thing? I want to make fun of every grown adult on this show. <laughs> every contestant. Uh -huh. And then I stop myself and think, no, adults can play video games. What do I not like? And I figured it out. It's the mustache. Ready? Right. There's, they have mustaches, and I don't trust that. Mustache dad should not be playing Dragon Slayer. He's not a dad. He's got a water bed. He's not a dad. <laughs> okay, so what are they getting? We're playing so, this game, right? You and me. We're going to play this game. Sure. We're playing um, this. So, yeah, so they are just manually giving them points whenever they hit the correct input. Is there a correct input? There's only right and wrong. There's not two rights. Um, most of the time, yeah, you, you either get it or you die. <laughs> okay. Okay, Marcel, we're gonna be back in a minute to play more Dragon's Lair. Don't miss it right here on the Stargate. The beauty the remains more to be seen. <laughs> the other game was more interesting. The last one. Yeah, the Star Wars game, you know, it was just a fun shooter that had space age technology. They really want us to know the name of this show. A ColecoVision! Wow, what a blast from the past! <laughs> Yay! And for the grand prize winner, it's a week stay for two at the luxurious. Does she come with the prize? The <laughs> oh, you? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Again, someone should go through all our videos and just tick off the Simpsons references. In-flight games and prizes, full meal and beverage service. We have no, we have no thoughts of our own. It's all, it's, it's all, all rehash Simpsons. From Starcade, yep. A roll of quarters to use in the arcade over there. And now back to Starcade. That's it. A roll of yep. quarters for a whole stay in Hawaii. Yep. For your thirty minutes in the arcade. You got to work for him. We're back, and uh, let's see. Let's uh, meet our players a little bit. Jonah, uh, tell me about you. Last time on Starcade, what happened to you? Well, uh, it sounds like he's asking him to recount a traumatic event. <laughs> yes. I won some arcade games. Where did the where did the arcade game hit, touch you, Jonah? <laughs> well, you were here too, didn't you? Yes, I got lucky and I got Star Trek. Ah. Good game, great game, and of course the game we're playing today is an old Dragon's Lair show, and it is. A I did not know game. there was an old Star Trek Dragon's arcade game. Played, I didn't either. Games will and he just said that this is an old Dragon's Lair show or something. I don't yeah. know what is going on here. <laughs> How old can Dragon's Lair be in this in 1983 or whatever this is? It's brand new, I think. So both have seen. So Jonah and Marcello, take a look at the name of the game board. Okay. So you didn't know the first one, which was Arabian. We're quizzing Robert to see yeah. if he knows this. He will see the picture, and then the contestants will see the picture, and we'll see who we'll see if he can get it. Yeah, the contestants did not get it last time. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yup. You're Wait messing you see with me, right? <laughs> Wait till you see the one they give the contestants. I tried to match the one they give the contestants. <laughs> so wait till you see that one. Okay, well, this doesn't look like a real game. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to say, I don't know, <laughs> Space Band? <laughs> what? There's some guy on drums flying in, like, there's a planet or something. Okay, let's see what happens next. Uh, uh, and name this game. Jonah. Journey. Journey is right. 350 points to you. Okay. Do you know Journey? I do not know Journey. Again. Kevin, do you have something to say to us? Jeff, I always have something to say. The Enchanted Castle is a <laughs> magical... Oh, Jeff. I have a whole thing to read. <laughs> I do so love our banter. I do so love that this is a big commercial. I do so love that. Play. I don't understand. I can't believe they're giving them fake scores. Yeah, Are you it's, serious? It's weird. They're giving them fake scores. All right. 
I, you know what? If I have to, if my option is to grab onto a flaming rope, I'm dropping. Yeah. Just want you to know, I'm not doing it. Look at him dodge that fire. Riveting. <laughs> and now we have to watch Mustache Guy do it. Yeah, it's mustaches I don't trust. 70s mustaches. Mm -hmm. That just may be why I'm, there's a creep factor in 70s mustaches that I cannot remove. No one can. 30 seconds. Nope. Around. Get ready. Get set. Play. Yeah, I want to make fun of him for something. But really, it's just I don't like the mustache. Yeah, it's that specific era of mustache. Yeah. Yeah. It looks like it's hitting his crotch. The fire. <laughs> he's grabbing the rope. Curse you, Bluth. <laughs> I, this is so boring to watch. This is not riveting. Because you're no. watching the same thing again and again. And I'm really upset that they're scoring it. <laughs> so it could be they just picked a score that they wanted the kid to win or something. You know? Yeah. Dragon Slayer twice, and we'll total up the scores in both games to see which one of you goes on to the final competition at the end of the show. Of course, remember, Jonah got 250 points and then 300. It's points not like Pac Man where you could just look at a score. The total score for Jonah right. is 322. Right. 12. <laughs> no, he was really close. Yeah, he was really close. So they got about the same score, he just got more points. Uh, mm -hmm. Sorry to do that. You're a fine player, but we do have a nice gift for you, Kevin. It's a collector's library of records from the company that brings all <laughs> the great recordings together in this grand collection. From the country sounds to the top 40 hits, they're all together. Wow. It's Music just a bunch of. You know, I remember K Tell. Greatest hits. <laughs> See you in a little bit. It's just a. It's a bunch of albums. I would have loved that as when I. When, when I was the age I was when this premiered, I would have been like, okay, give me, give them to me. Okay, we got Mike and Mike. Mike one and Mike, Mike two. And Mike and Mike. <laughs> okay. They could have I done think... that better. They could have put a Mike in a different round. Yeah. Mike, how you doing? Or given them That's like last great. name initials. What happened to you last time you were on the show, Mike? I won. <laughs> Thanks, Robert. Got Munchmobile. Oh, you got the Munchmobile. Boy, that's I have a difficult time with that game. What? what about What's you? Munchmobile? On Donkey Kong and one. Um, Boy, both of you then really good players. I I never. Uh, Munchmobile. I, I feel like I played it, but I don't remember. I don't know how I would describe it. Okay. See, I thought you would be a font of knowledge, and you're a font Munch of nothing. I think you're in a car, and you have to like eat food as you're driving down, and. <laughs> It's very cartoony looking for the era. Unless I'm thinking of a there. different game. <laughs> oh. Gotta okay, pause. gotta pause it. Pause, 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 pause. Okay. I do you see the picture? On the screen? It looks like static. <laughs> okay, I will show you the picture. This is so great. I will show you the picture. Hold on. Sure, I couldn't get the picture on the screen. So I got as close to the picture on the screen as possible. Guess what it is, Robert? You're you're 0 for 2. <laughs> Let's see if I can do a clean sweep. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, I this tried is... to match the screen, but I gave you even more information. Well, uh, this is clearly me messing around with a basic compiler and being impressed I can make something <laughs> appear on the screen. <laughs> Oh, it's a video game. <laughs> I mean, hey, it, I gave you, you have to admit, I gave you more information than what they're looking at right now. Uh, I see five green lines and a purple line. <laughs> yes. Yes, you do. Okay. That's it. And All a right. black screen. Um, All right, Einstein. Some what, what game is that? I could, it looks vaguely like Missile Command if there was, like, ground or something, but <laughs> it's obviously uh, not Missile Command. Um, I'm going to go with um, The Rave. 
Kicks. You got 250 points. Do you know how that's spelled? Kevin will take us over to the game, Kev. Oh, is it Q I X? During his yes. <laughs> oh, how was I supposed to? You, there's, where's the wall and stuff? There was no wall on the one they gave the other people. Oh. I was trying to give you what they gave them. All right, Mike Bruso, if you're all set, you'll have. I, I know kicks, so I feel very disappointed Not that well. I didn't get that. <laughs> I gave you what they gave the contestants. That's only fair. Oh. All right. We're back to this game that is being scored by somebody who just <laughs> thought maybe the kid was funny. I don't know. Who knows why they're giving the scores they're giving? It's all arbitrary. I didn't know Star and, But the scores do liars. matter. What? Um, but the points do matter. <laughs> They do matter, but they're all big fat liars. This is yeah, fake. I, this is fake news. I, I'm guessing they're trying to time it based on response time. Like they're giving more points depending on how quick you press the button, but I don't Arbitrary know. Arbitrary as hell. I want someone to die. No, there will be no That's dying. That's all that happens when I play Dragon Slayer. <laughs> you think you'd be better at it. Mm -hmm. All right, it's Mike's turn. <laughs> I hope he does better than Mike. <laughs> I hope one of them does better than the other. So we have a winner. Okay. Drink me. He did not drink me. He did not drink me. But he fell into the drink, so hey, yeah. you know. <laughs> All right. When we see him a little later on in the sixty minutes, go through those rapids, he goes, "Woo, woo!" He doesn't look so daring. There's still one more game to be played. He never looks daring. No. That's the joke. Yep. So I feel like we we need a gif of him going, "Woo, woo." <laughs> Of this guy, the host? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yes, let's do that. Oh. Okay, pause it. pause it. Pause it quick before they say. What game is it? Robert gets to guess the game before the contestants. He should have that trip to Hawaii. <laughs> but I'm losing. <laughs> do you want to go to Hawaii? <laughs> I'm not especially. I'm happy here. Ships, decoys, some garbled text. Um, I do not know. Oh, oh, for four. Uh, I'm going to say Vanguard, even though I don't think it's Vanguard, just because I like Vanguard. And it looks kind of spaceshipy like this. So you're guessing the name Vanguard just because you like the game? Vanguard, so, yes. So if it were like late February, early March, and you saw that, you'd go, you know, I'm just going to pick Final Fantasy Remake because I like the game. <laughs> I was picking an old retro <laughs> game that looked kind of had the same kind of visual style. Here it's like Russo. rabies. Time. Okay, Mike McCune, you don't have to say a thing. Automatically, you get yourself 350 points. And, I will tell you and they don't tell you. Reactor. Reactor. So, McCune, I have never heard of that. You have now. The I. I'm widening your knowledge of video games. You are. Damn. And someday you're going to be like, Reactor, I know Reactor. <laughs> I, I hold the world record for Reactor. <laughs> no, you don't. You're not going to either. I know you. And we're back. I love how like the first three seconds is just staring at that castle. Yeah, you'd think they would they skip didn't put ahead. They the action. Uh-huh. See, it goes right to his groin, and then he grabs <laughs> the thing. I don't understand this. I, I cannot wait to play it. I've played this a long time ago at some point. Mm -hmm. um, how did he get the points? <laughs> 
I'm I sorry I'm harping know. on that, but this is the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen. They're just arbitrarily giving out points on a game that doesn't isn't point based. All right, here we go. Yeah, it just looks right, like every single nobody's died yet to, at all. No. I love how he's not ready, steady, go. He's like ready, play. <laughs> you know, it's just the weirdest thing. He's like. He's not like three, two, one, go. He's like, ready, play, play. So exciting that we're going right instead of left with the fire rope. I know. He didn't drink me again. I think that kills you. <laughs> the drink me? Uh-huh. Yeah, probably. <laughs> okay, Mike, head on back. And nobody's dying. And... Why does somebody get like 5,000 points and the other person gets three? It doesn't make any sense. I don't, it doesn't make any Especially sense at all. Especially since it's all random which results you get. This is rigged. It's so rigged. This is the rigged. game show scandal everyone should be talking about. That's right. Forget those others. This is it. Well, it couldn't be much closer. We have to say goodbye to you. That Ray Fiennes movie has nothing on this scandal. What do you have for Michael? It's the Beamscope 2. It doubles the size of your TV screen and makes video games <laughs> exceptional color, installs without tools, and it's affordably priced from Beamscope International Marketing Services. It's just a big magnifying glass for your TV. Oh my gosh. That is incredible. What a crappy game. <laughs> like, oh, yuck. Some of our contestants can I can I have the, the no name albums? <laughs> Some of our contestants will receive this. Some of them, the ones we like, the ones we feel bad about because we gave them a giant magnifying glass. <laughs> giant magnifying glass. Oh my gosh! Ooh, what is Vic this? Are these 20. games? Yeah. What? Yes. They're games by Tronics. For the Vic 20. Everything I know about retro video games I learned from Ashens. I don't know that he's mentioned Tronics. Yeah. Uh, wouldn't it be funny if they deeply. swapped the mics and we're hoping we wouldn't notice? <laughs> that would be great. This round is distinctly mustache free. Play and aren't we grateful for that? I am. That's really a skeevy mustache. Even more screen should be a lot of fun. During the commercial break, we flipped a coin and Mike won. So, Mike, what are you going to do? You're going to go first or second? First. You the episode first, is too right, Mike centric. And while we get ready to play Dragon Slayer, we'll ask Kevin to tell us about it. They're they're playing into the hands of of Big Mike. Make this end. Dragon Slayer. <laughs> I cannot nope. watch this over and over and over again. It, the Star Wars one was more fun because they had different levels. Oh, they have 60 seconds, so maybe we'll see right, something we new. Just watch them seconds. die at 31 seconds. Wouldn't they just re be reborn? Yeah. Oh, they didn't start the timer at the castle. They started it no. later in the action. Yeah. Someone's just pushing a button going, give him 50. Give him 50 more. Give him 120 here. That's what they're doing. <laughs> the audience response is just out of control. I bet they have a sign saying, cheer, applaud, <laughs> say yay. You won't get your, you know, sandwich. I don't know what they give to audiences in this time period. I have no idea. 30 seconds. There's not any video gaming happening. It just press a button while you watch a movie. It's just press a couple buttons while you watch a movie. I'm not dissing that. I'm okay with it. But it's weird to watch it. Mm -hmm. Like on a game show. <laughs> that's Nobody died. Longest minute of my life. Yeah. That's the, that's the luck of the game. Maybe you'll get the same level. I hope so, Jonah. I hope. Okay, here we go. Good luck to you. How did he get a high scoring level? Oh. I don't even I... understand that. 
Yeah, I guess. Well, the audience is going wild. Yeah, I was like, oh, BTS just walked on stage. <laughs> Through a time portal. Through <laughs> a time portal. I know you said that just to amuse me, and thank you. <laughs> but, yeah, they are going mad. They're like, ladies and gentlemen, the Beatles kind of cheering, you know? It's insane. Exactly. Yeah, I was like... You know, the Beatles playing at the Super Bowl. <laughs> <laughs> With BTS opening. <laughs> BTS doesn't open for anybody. Mm -mm. Not even BTS. <laughs> Not even BTS. <laughs> okay, stop it. I know you're doing this to a music. <laughs> no more BTS talk. Oh my gosh. Did he get 5,900 points? Yes. And the other guy got 13,000 on a non point scoring game? On a non point scoring game, and neither one of them died. Wow. And this is where their loving families get to run on and hug them. Oh, like scout troops get to come on and hug them. Look at that. Yeah. And they're like, we're not going to make you play the game again to win the game. Everyone's seen too much of this 30 seconds. <laughs> this isn't one of those games. This isn't like a game game. 